Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Design. I've got a fun little gift box for you featuring the flower cart bundle. This is a fabulous bundle that is in our annual catalog. It actually carried over from last year's uh, spring mini catalog. Um, inside the box I have, well, I'll just show you. Let's open it up. I found these new hostess. They're called Meltimores. And they looked delicious to me. There we go. The box is pretty big. You could fit some other things in here for sure. If you just wanted to do loose candy, of course, that would work as well. Um, the little ribbon here will tie to keep it closed. This just makes a nice little treat. Um, I am using the happy birthday sentiment, but you could always change that to fit whatever need that you have. Here are the Meltimores right here. And I noticed it says melting caramel center in eat warm or enjoy now. So you can put it in the microwave and get that yummy gooey center. That sounds pretty delicious. All right, let's make our box first. I am using our one of our new in colors. This is uh, Shy Shamrock. Your piece needs to be nine and a half by seven. And I'm gonna score it, if I can get that in, at one and a half, four and a half, six and nine and then i'm going to turn it and score it at one and a half and five and a half all right the first thing that you want to do when you're making a box is to get your bone folder and burnish those lines make them nice and crisp all right and then i'm going to take my paper snips and I'm gonna cut, now notice this side has a half inch and this has a one and a half inch. This is the little, this is the top, the little lip that goes inside. So put that on the right side and go along and cut these um, score lines on the long side. And then this one, we're actually, you know what, I'm gonna save that because we're gonna do something different to that. You can also cut these corners off this will just help it go together a little bit better. Okay, now let's do the same here. Cut the corners, cut the corners. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna switch over to my bigger scissors. We're gonna take this off, and we're gonna do that by cutting a diagonal right here, and that's gonna create, see how this flap's gonna have that corner cut off? That's gonna make it go in the box easier. All right, so you just wanna go across, and then that means the corners are cut off of that one as well. You'll see what I mean when I put the card, to, I mean, put the box together. All right, now my adhesive of choice when making boxes is our Tombow liquid glue. I live in a very humid environment and just find that this is my adhesive of choice. Yes, it takes a little bit of time to dry, but here in South Texas where I live, things stay together without popping apart when it gets really humid here, which is a lot of the time, I find my boxes will pop open if I use a different adhesive. All right, so I've got my little clothespins here. These help me keep the box together as I uh, wait for that glue to dry. All right, let's do our stamping. I have a postage rectangle right here. We're gonna stamp those that line of pots. We're not actually using the flower cart this time. We're just using the flowers and the flower pot. And I'm gonna put the pots down at the bottom. And then I'm gonna get Petunia Pop and stamp happiest birthday to you across the top, like that, okay? Now for our flowers, I'm gonna use Shy Shamrock for the greenery. And I this is two-step stamping, so you're gonna do two different stamps. And I find stamping the greenery is the greenery first is easiest. So stamp that and then get your petunia pop and um, ink up your flowers. And then it's just kind of like a puzzle. Just sit those down in there where they will go between the greenery. All right, cut and emboss machine. We will cut this out using that coordinating die. 
All right, there we go. Set that down on there like that. And that through. This box is pretty easy. There's not a lot of tedious steps. So if you needed to make some treats, multiples, you know, I call mass production, um, this would be a good one to do. All right, so two dimensionals on here. And we will stick that, those flowers right there. Okay, I think we've probably given the box enough time to dry. Maybe, maybe not. But for the sake of the video, we are moving forward. All right, let's put our treats in. Now, this is going to go in here like that. And see how these corners help you uh, set that down in there. If you ha keep it straight, it's actually very hard to get that um, box closed. So cutting those corners off really helps. All right, and then we're just going to use some of our... Uh, designer series paper which here we go this is a piece of shaded spruce I find that shaded spruce goes really well with uh, shy shamrock and this is a piece of shaded spruce designer series paper and we'll put that whoops well he's stuck now and we're gonna put that right there get your shaded spruce ribbon and tie that over here, the box will stay closed without the ribbon. But what's a box without ribbon? I tell you, see now the box popped up saying, no, I won't, I need ribbon. All right, we're gonna just tie this here. Look how beautifully that color matches the box. That's the beauty of Stampin' Up! Their colors are gonna match. If you've got shaded spruce ribbon, ink, paper, they're all gonna be the same color. All right, well, we've got a loop here. Let's see. You know what, we're just gonna leave it for the sake of the video. If I wasn't making a video, I would definitely straighten that out, but we're gonna just put these two dimensionals on either side and stick that down. Look, you can't even tell. And there's your box. All right, everybody, there you go, a pretty easy box. Make sure you jump over to my blog, pinkpuckaroo.com. Grab that free PDF. It'll have the measurements, the supply list, and two other flower cart projects. And let me know if you have questions. Happy stamping, everybody. Thanks. Bye-bye.